When users first use PBCS, it's valuable for them to set their preferences and user variables. I've come into the Navigator menu, and I'm going to go into this item here, Preferences, which is found under Create and Manage. From here, a user can set their display options, which governs how their numbers will be formatted, and more importantly, they'll be able to set up their user variables. I'll be showing you how to do this in a moment, and later in the course, we'll be concentrating in a little more detail on these variables and how they're used. For the display options, we have a set of drop-down menus for each of the number formatting options, in addition to things like page options and various other options to do with date formats and so forth. If we just concentrate on number formatting, you'll see that first of all there is a checkbox which allows us to use the application defaults as set by the administrator. I can override any of these by unclicking the checkbox underneath Use Application Default. Or alternatively, of course, I can uncheck Use Application Default. So this is a shortcut to allow users to use the application defaults if they wish. But I can set these preferences for each individual setting. So for instance, for my thousand separator, I can use the formatting governed by the currency in use, or I can specifically set, for instance, comma. And then for my decimal separator, perhaps dot. To save these settings, I need to scroll to the bottom of the screen and then click Save. And there, those settings have been saved. And this process applies to any of the other settings that you see in these various tabs here. And that includes printing options. But now what I want to focus on is user variables. These are very important. As I mentioned, we'll be concentrating on variables later in the course, but suffice to say that these user variables are used extensively within data forms, and therefore it's very important that the user populates these appropriately before trying to use the data forms which make use of them. If they don't, then they won't be able to open those associated data forms. Now, I'm just going to fill in this one here, current forecast. Of course, in practice, the user would be expected to populate all of these user variables. So, for my current forecast user variable, this is picking something from the scenario dimension. So, I have a choice. I could simply type in here the name of the scenario that I want to use, but that assumes that I know the exact name. Alternatively, I can use this selection button at the right-hand end of the field. From here, which has opened my scenario dimension, I can now either search for a particular member, or if I know where it is, I can come and expand the hierarchy until I find it. In this case, forecast 3 plus 9. I'll select it and use the Add button to move it across before clicking OK to populate the user variable. So again, having done that, I can scroll to the bottom of the screen and click Save. And now my user variables are saved. From a user perspective, this is a one-off operation and only needs to be done the first time they use PBCS. Although your internal processes may require users to come and change these from time to time. So that's setting preferences and user variables.